Friends, this is my very first art for self-care video and you get to be here with me for it. Please comment below and let me know. Let's get started. All right, first you're gonna spread a, whoa, I sounded so country. First you're gonna spread a thin layer of either plaster or spackling paste and let it dry. Mine took a couple hours. And um, set the vibe, light a candle, and you're gonna wanna spread a base layer of what other, whatever color paint you want your base to uh, base color to be. Mine is white, as you can tell. Um, and again, this is not about having the most expensive brushes or paint. This is simply self care time right now. Okay, art is greater than overwhelm, and let that be that for us today. All right, so creating your base layer is good because uh, you're going to be able to cover up what other, whatever kind of color your texture paste or your plaster is, um, and just kind of create more layers, more depth in the painting, which is what you see I do here with, um, with the white. And as you can tell, I don't like to rush my process, which is why I did not even consider that I should be using a bigger brush. It didn't bother me because this is mama's time right now, right? So, okay, first, before you dive in, don't be scared. <laughs> you can always paint over it, okay? So just start painting. And I did have a visual in mind. I had something um, that I had as an inspiration that I was looking at as far as the colors. So that's always a good place for you to start. Like if my colors that I choose, you are not vibing with them choose your own. I tend to love a lot of blues and greens with a splash of maybe coral or pink or gold. Just start and don't be scared. <laughs> this is not about perfection, okay? Oh, which is like such a beautiful message of whenever we create art, right? Like the process that's un that unfolds while you create is one of transformation just like in our lives and certain circumstances or colors when we're talking about our painting come together to create something beautiful and it might look like a hot mess while you're making it but i promise by the end it'll be something you can be proud of so you're going to want to blend as you go and you'll notice i do that at times um, sometimes I'll bring in my base color again or another color to kind of blend around the edges of like that coral. Um, now I'm just kind of deciding where I want to go with my colors next and I really love this like, I guess we can call it aqua. Um, it's when I kind of start adding in the pattern or the, the blend or the overall vibe of where I'm going with this painting. I am such a huge fan of blues. Love them. All right, at this point I realized I hated that green color that I just added. It was terrible. So I do eventually start, start painting over it and blending it with another color. Um, there was such a part of me that wanted to just stop recording and start over <laughs> because there's such a part of me that thinks I have to be perfect on camera or when I paint or honestly when I do anything <sighs> but again being present embracing the process and letting go of that perfection is definitely definitely something to remember when creating all right, here you're going to see that I'm adding more of the base color. It allows me to kind of blend in the fresh paint that I just put down, the, the coralish, actually it was called watermelon, which is my favorite summer fruit right now, but adding in the watermelon, um, the white to blend in with the watermelon and the blues and the greens. Um, and you can, you can kind of start to see where it's coming together. 
although it still looks like um, yeah it's still far from it but hang in there <laughs> hang in there honey we'll get there um, right now we're creating layers so the awesome thing about this look this abstract look that I'll show you who I was inspired by um, in a few minutes but um, there's layers and there's depth and I really really love this about this style of painting you will see here I added in the the fuchsia or the hot pink which honestly might be one of the only places where I'm gonna have pink in my house my husband tends to be very anti-pink although my pantry is like a dusty rose I rebelled a little bit <sighs> So you can see it coming together, right? Just like your journey. Your journey is one of purpose. It's one of beauty. And I know sometimes on our journey, things can look like a hot mess. But I hope in this time, in this time of painting, in this time of creating on your own, get a reminder that you have a beautiful journey when you're safe and you're seen and you're loved when there's no one else in this world like you honey okay I'm really loving the seafoam green and how it's blending in with the whites and with that aqua blue and the coral up along the sides one thing I love to do is I love to try different brushes especially when the paint is not super wet and fresh but maybe it's been on there for a few minutes it gives it a different look I'm sure there's beautiful art terms for those of you who may have art degrees <laughs> for this process but I like to use the brush I was using was like a little bit of a like it looked like a fan brush like almost how you would apply like a highlighter in makeup almost almost time for my favorite part the gold leaf it's coming I'm adding in some more white doing some more blending just to create layers you're gonna find with this process you really just need to play and the beautiful thing is you can you can paint as much as you want and let it dry and you can add more and that's what I did a few times obviously with the time lapse you don't see that but you can come back to it shoot you can even finish the whole painting and decide days later that you want to add more want to add more color or a new color here I'm starting to add in um, just like a little bit of dark accent colors I've got a dark teal down on the bottom I've got some dark green a little splash there to kind of outline some of the pink and I can't wait to see the colors that you create in yours this style is really like um, boho glam especially with the gold leaf effects that we'll be hitting on here pretty soon now I'm going in there and I'm adding a little bit of black and while I was doing this I was thinking I should probably be using a smaller brush but that's okay and now I'm using this fun Martha Stewart um, like opalescent like coating I know that's not the right word I'll link it below but it really gives it a very shimmery holographic look it's so pretty up close it gives it more depth and more layers I put it in all the really light parts of the painting so all on the white a little bit on the seafoam green and it gave it a really pretty effect I had to let it dry probably another 30 to 45 minutes after this and then yeah I just spread my black paint but I'll go over that later with some white for that baby up again that was another time when I felt like I needed to stop recording nope not today 
All right, next you are going to be getting your adhesive. I've linked it below and you're gonna apply that just one spot at a time because it is almost gold leaf time. So pick a little spot, use a small brush. Yes, you're gonna crumple your gold leaf and then you're gonna spread it with your brush. I have made the mistake of not crumbling the gold, gold leaf first and it just goes on like flat in like one flat perfect chunk. And this is something I created um, thanks to this amazing training from um, Copley. I think her name's Lisa Copley. She's based out of Charlotte. She makes beautiful, beautiful stuff. But I took her tutorial and did a whole big drip wall in her living room. You're going to blow off all the excess gold leaf each time you do it. So the reason I put my adhesive on one spot at a time is because one, the adhesive will end up drying and then it, you know, you'll kind of waste that. But also, you're gonna forget <laughs> where you put your adhesive. I did it when I did um, the Boho Glam drip wall in our living room. I would put some adhesive down and then be like, shoot, where was it? And then you gotta kind of feel along the wall or the canvas to try to find it. So really just do it one spot at a time, shaking off the excess gold flakes each time. I got a few more little gold leaf spots there to do. Oh, I just love it. I could mess around and cover the whole darn thing with gold leaf. I love it so much. Okay, now there is a special little sealer that you'll buy, I've linked it below, that you put on top of all your gold leaf spots only just to prevent tarnish. And it's gonna dry clear, so don't worry, it's not gonna dry white. And if this was something that was fun for you, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing these more often. Again, art for self-care why I love it. I love to create pieces for our home. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.